boop. Guess who has an $8 microphone from Walmart? And he didn't even have to buy a new one. He already owned one, stuffed away in his closet, high upon a shelf at the bottom of a box wrapped in its own core buried beneath a plastic bowl that I've used maybe twice. Yeah, found my old mic. And, uh, if we get a wave here when I un unmute the game, then all is working as intended. Yay! Alright. Way back... I'm using the mic I used on my first videos. Go watch Let's Play Ninja Warriors and listen to my microphone. And then I believe it was in Nick's Adventure 2 that... I found a uh, free quarter and was able to, through a lot of settings manipulation, get the game to record. Um, what am I getting it to record? Get it to record the uh, in game audio and the microphone at the same time. Both of them go through my uh, sound card, and my sound card won't let things record two things off of it, but this manages to. Also, I should let you know, I have my speakers turned off. I have no clue what the music or sound effects sound like right now uh, to you guys, because I can't hear them. So, let's play. We left off at level 16, I believe. I think we got through level 15. And uh, with any luck, I will remember how to do all of these levels uh, with a little bit of speed. Okay, how do I want to get in here? Let's do this. Okay, come over here. Do this. That lets us get up on this ledge. Then do this. And that lets us do something else. Oh, I see. Okay, so then we do this. And then we come over here. And now, the way that they want you to get through this part is... And by the, I say they want you is, I believe you're supposed to do this. Because these two, you see the beam of light goes right over the top of that spike. And gets rid of it, and then you jump up there. The thing is, the first time I played this game, I'm like, okay, well, that's just, you know, you just jump. I have never hit that spike. I have no clue if that's actually supposed to be an obstacle or not. This level is all kinds of crisscrossed with uh, the badness. And, ah, dang it, I slipped off the edge. There are some sweet spots that you can find to stand on. There we go. But, uh, just kind of an issue to get through here. Fall down. Button. Ah! There we go. Sound effects are very important in that particular part. You have to keep up a certain amount of forward momentum. That was one of my longest levels. Easy way to... F it's easy to figure out what you need to do. You just need to keep walking along with the ups and downs of the, uh all of the, the folds, but you have to get an, enough momentum. This level, oh my gosh, I got trapped in this level for so long. Let's see, if I pull that, pull that, pull that, there we go. Now I jump over here, activate that to unfold the whole level and get a checkpoint. I manipulated this room in every way possible before I finally, presumably, that's not what they want that, yeah. There we go. Before I presumably figured out what it is they wanted me to do, you just drop down and get in there. It's so easy once <laughs> once you solve it, although I had to replay this one again because I couldn't remember the order of operations for the folds to get through there. Okay, room 19. This one, oh, this one's kind of, you gotta, uh, there's a little bit of timing to it. Okay, there. This... Jump up here, and undo. I don't, you don't have to necessarily uh, undo every single one you did. I mentioned this in the first video. Uh, you should be, ah, uh, dang it, that was, oh well, nice timing there. You should be able to make some of these even leaving your old ones done. It's just, I like to tidy up. This level, oh, this is the level that crushes you to death. This is that level. <laughs> so you just gotta find the plate. Oh, don't don't die. Find the places where there's a brief section of nothing, and.
and then kind of wend your way through it. So here, jump up on top of that. Jump. Oh, dang it, I missed my jump. I hit the wrong key. I jump up on top of that. Now it's going to disappear right there, and you can just jump up there. There's just enough time where that uh, that ledge is inside the fold that you can get through the gap. But you got to time it well. Next up, I don't know if my mic is close enough for, me, for you guys to really hear. I have to... <laughs> what I normally look at to see how well my mic is doing is this window. And this window's going crazy, so I never know exactly how loud my mic is. <sighs> this one is a really simple... Uh, multi-fold puzzle. Not yet. Ooh, look at that. Almost got crushed. Fold that. Jump! Gotta get up there. I think you, like, almost automatically activate that little platform. Did I mention in the first video that you can fold and then fold again with a folded node? I'm not sure if I did. But you can. It is entirely possible. And fold! Oh, don't make it in. I almost have more energy right now, don't I? Continue. I ordered, since I <laughs> probably would have been, uh, you know, relevant to mention that at the beginning of the video, I ordered another mic. I have no clue how well it will work uh, over overall. It is a lavalier mic, or a lapel mic, as they sometimes call it. And uh, that means that it will be closer to my mouth than... Ah! Dang it, I missed it. It'll be closer to my mouth than the current crappy mic I'm using. Plus, the I'm buying an Audio-Technica mic. And Audio-Technica is a good brand for microphones. I'm buying a cheap model, of course, but I'm buying, a, you know, a good brand. Uh, what do I want to do here? Ah, yes. Get down here and do this. And jump through. Do not get hit by that plasma beam. Now, uh, this, keep these scrunched together, scrunch these together, and that gets rid of all of these badnesses. Bring that back out to get your platform, and then lower that, and head on up. And you know what? Oh, it won't let you activate the out-of-game portal until you uh, click on that. That's kind of, not your out-of-game portal, I'm sorry. It won't let you land on the, uh, the checkpoint until you undo undo. Uh, here you want to go across, and then jump across. Then you want to squish, and notice how the squishy uh, field is approximately half my height. Yeah, it won't work that way, so you have to let go and then jump just a little bit, and uh, it'll put you in the air, and you will be able to fold against it. Man, I hope my other mic gets better levels than this. I know my mount, my, uh, my volume is going up and down like crazy. And probably much closer to the down section than the up. This level is kind of freaky. Um, you, ow, I just got crushed. You basically just need to run. If you just run, you, uh, you essentially make it through where you want to go. Run, run, run. Oh, okay, I know what I need to do right here. Right there, jump across, get through. Run, run, run. Oh, that was just enough to squish me right there. Okay, so right here, jump over and get through. Again, um, yeah, not too much by way of actual commentary going on. Just explaining what I'm doing. Think of this more as a walkthrough. Uh, no, not that. This. Bring this down. Then bring this over. No, nope, that was not the correct way to do that. That is not what we're going to do. Where? I can't stand anywhere when I do that. Let's bring this down. Okay, there's nowhere else to go but that. And unfortunately, that crushes me to death. So that's not right. Oh! Durr. Do that. Then hop through here. Undo that. Then do... This does nothing. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. What do we want to do now? Oh! Do this. Hey, come back here. Alright, let's try it that way. Apparently there's another order of operations I need to pay attention to. Click that, undo that. Now, I'm up top. So let's do this. Hop up here. Undo that. Hop up, hop up. 
pull these together. And now, where do we want to go? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. You do have a limited wall jump, which I'll show you here. Um, it only kind of works on the, like, the corners rather than the wall. And now you can fall straight down and go into the, uh, platform. But it does save your life a couple times, especially when you're in those weird slashed up rooms. Ah, more. I, I don't remember if we've seen these. I think we did. Um, these you basically have to hit them with a plasma gun. They boil, and then they crack, and then they burst. And then, let's see, this one, this one, and this one. And now these ones will burst. Click. Ah, click. And right here, we have a free and clear path to get to the exit. Next. Okay, I hate this room. I should just mention that. Okay, so do this. What you're doing here is you're bringing, like, the left bottom and the top right sides together. And by doing so, you just walk back and forth. And, uh, ah, I just got crushed. That's not the way you do this. Right, try that. Whoa. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Can I see? Uh, okay, yes, I can. There we go. Fix that right off. So we just walk over, undo. Once again, diagonals, walk over, undo. Once again, diagonals, walk over, undo. That's how you get on that side. Now, this other side is not quite so easy. Notice, ah, uh, don't die. Notice on this side that these guys are going up and down, and they leave you a space on the walls. Whereas these guys go side to side, and they crush you to death. But, same basic uh, premise. Walk over, jump. Jumping is just to avoid getting crushed to death. But, you know, good plan. And uh, in each case, once again, just make the diagonal. Walk over. And you don't have to undo that last one, but, you know, tidy up. You gotta... I'm trying to think, give a hoot, don't pollute, but it doesn't work as well with, uh, with not polluting, with undoing folds in the space-time continuum. I don't know if time is being folded. Space is certainly. Um, is that? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop. Okay. Fold those. Brings the lasers in. Then you just fold the next set, and it moves the lasers one more set of purple pods over. And then once again, fold another set, and it brings those lasers one more purple pod over. And then, once they all burst, there we go, you will see that that has left us with what would be a clear path, except for these dastardly lasers. It's really easy to get rid of these dastardly lasers, but then if you were to try that with this one, suddenly you can't get in anymore. So, what you have to do is this. Now notice how when you here doesn't go over the laser, but here the field goes over the laser, so that laser disappears. Then you can do this one, and the laser disappears, and then just jump on through. If you move them too far together, you'll notice that there's there were two of these things in there, and so they would create a laser beam across, which would stop you. This is the, the jerkiest thing. Okay, you come over here. If you go up here, you see there's a laser, so we can't go that way. You come up here put these two notes together. Then you walk back, and then don't hit that trigger plate. Um, I did that twice in a row, and it kind of annoyed me, because you got to go jump back in there and redo the laser beam. And then you get to this fun party. And actually, I'm going to wait for that bridge to come back up, because I want to be on the other side of it. Okay. Here, if you just do this, that's it. There's nothing more uh, severe than that. I'm not sure if you have to leave this... Uh, the vertical closure in there or not. Ah, here's our last room, and this one's kind of inventive. So, we do this and get rid of the lasers, jump on up, and we notice purple people pods. So, how do we get the lasers up to the pod? Well, if you close the distance, then the lasers shoot the pods. Then, we open it back up, and we are free to progress. And, uh, up here, there seems to be something, so let's head up once again. Oh, nothing really up there. Well, oh no, more purple pods. 
Well, that's why we had to come up here, so we can do this. Now the lasers can hit this block. All right, well, then let's do this. Now the lasers can shoot the purple pop people eaters. Click and done. This has been the crappy second half to Fault Line by Nitro. Test sequence is complete. I don't know why it says 75%. Maybe it always says 75%. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I didn't play the game all the way straight through, but only played half the levels. Who knows? Anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to record any more videos in the meantime. You know what? Let's mute this music, since I know that that's uh, going to be pretty loud. Um, I don't think I'm going to record anything until I get my new mic and get it set up. And if that new mic doesn't work, um, I won't be able to record anything until June. Because what I'll have to do is send that mic back. And then buy they st this, the headset microphone that I normally use is still available on Amazon, and it's only like 30 bucks. So if the mic that I just got doesn't work, I'll send it back and get that other mic instead. But I probably won't receive it until June, um, after Memorial Day. So, until then, bye-bye.